Hello, welcome to our Christmas Advent devotional series. We're gonna be taking you through a journey on four different topics for the next four weeks that have to do with the Christmas season and the birth of Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is Tyler and I'm gonna be sharing a devotional on the topic of hope um, and how we as believers and non-believers are in need of the hope that is only found in Jesus Christ. Hope, uh, the, the word is found roughly 145 times, depending on what translation you use, 145 times in the Bible. Uh, we are in need of hope and we are in need of a savior and it is only found in a person, his name is Jesus, but other people try to find hope in other things, in other relationships, in other substances. Movies will all, always display the need for hope, for a rescuer. Um, that is the whole topic of the Bible. The Bible is all about our need and hope for a savior to rescue us from our sin. And that is exactly what we're gonna talk about today. And in this Christmas season, I don't know where you are. It doesn't matter if you're a believer or not. You're, we are all in need of hope. And I, I pray that this um, devotional, this topic, and the next four weeks will minister to your heart um, and your soul. I wanna highlight um, some verses, but the first passage I wanna read is from Matthew chapter 12, and it comes out of verse 21. Now this is a reference to Isaiah, but um, the, pro the prophecy is fulfilled in Matthew because of the life of Jesus, and he would fulfill this prophecy. And verse 21 out of Matthew 12 says, and his name will be the hope of all the world. His name, meaning Jesus, will be the hope of all the world. So this is not referring to just Israel or just the Jews. This is for everyone. His name, which is Jesus, is the hope for all the world. I want to highlight a few verses um, that are all throughout the Old Testament and New Testament that have to do with hope. Um, and not necessarily it's referring to Jesus, but we see the, the theme of hope in all of Scripture. Job 11:18 talks about hope that gives us courage. Psalm 33:20 tells us about hoping in the Lord who is our shield. Psalm 39:7 talks about that my hope. David was saying this, my hope is in the Lord. Psalm 119, verse 114, God is my refuge and his word is my hope. So even the Bible is the source of hope. Jeremiah 29, 11, the most famous passage on hope is about uh, the Lord giving us a hope and a future for those that trust in him. Matthew 12, 21, we just read it. Jesus' name is hope. Romans 5, 5, talks about hope will not disappoint us. Paul would say, if you're a Christian, you're a believer, that hope is a confident hope, it will not disappoint. Romans 15, 13 talks about God being the source of hope. So when you need to look for someone who has hope, look to the Lord. And Hebrews 6, 19 talks about this hope that we have is an anchor for our souls. So you see the term hope found in all of scripture um, throughout the Old and New Testament. Few passages that I wanted to look deeply in are Ephesians chapter 2, Matthew 12, and Romans 15. We'll close with Romans 15. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12, it actually talks about when you were without Christ, you had no hope. So Paul is speaking to the church of Ephesus, telling them, you who were without God, you had no hope, um, no relationship with the Lord, and until you met the Lord, you were given this hope. Now the Greek word for hope is elipis. Elipis, and it's, it's a noun, and it means looking forward to something with confident expectation. So when Paul's writing to the Gentiles who knew, who didn't know anything about God, Yahweh, the true God, Paul says, deep down, you had no hope. Now you may think you have hope, you may try to find hope in something else, but deep down, you have no hope without Jesus. And that's why the Greek word for hope, elipis, means look forward to something with confidence. There's a confidence that is attached to hope, the Christian hope. Sometimes we can hope for, you know, we're, we, we hope for a great year next year. We, we hope for, um, you know, good tidings this Christmas season. We, we hope that we, you know, do better in our job. That's all good expression of we're hoping for something, but that's not the true hope that God is calling us toward. Hope is this confident expectation that you are looking forward to and you know it's gonna happen. So in Ephesians chapter two, those before Christ who didn't know him were without hope. But now Matthew chapter 12, verse 21, the verse that we started with, Jesus' name is 
literally hope to all the world. He is our salvation and he brings us joy and confidence. That salvation that we need is only found through our Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's why his name, his name literally, Jesus Christ, is our hope. We are hoping for our Savior and we know with great joy and confidence that he will return again and rescue us from the coming wrath and from this evil age. But I want to close with Romans chapter 15 as we, as we close our devotional. Romans chapter 15 verse 13, if you want to turn there. I love this chapter and this verse as Paul will conclude the, the book of Romans. Romans 15 verse 13 is a prayer that Paul actually is, is asking of, of the Lord for us. But in verse 13 it's, it begins with this, I pray Paul is telling the, the church in, in Rome, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. And then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Now I'm reading out of the NLT and you see the word hope found there twice. You see that God is the source of hope and you see that when you, when you trust in him, you're gonna have this confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. But what he actually says here in this prayer is perfect for the Christmas season. Paul says, you want hope? Then you go find the source, which is God. We all need hope, but it's not found in any other person except Jesus Christ, and God is that source, God the Father. And from that hope, you are gonna flow with joy and peace, some themes that we're gonna see later in this Advent devotional series. So from that hope that God is, will overflow in your heart joy and peace, especially in this Christmas season. And then on top of that, we're gonna be filled with the power of his Holy Spirit. So for this Christmas season, I want you to, I want to remind us all, where is your hope? Is it found in something or someone other than Jesus? Because if it is, then you need to redirect your, your, your lifestyle, your heart, and toward God's word and Jesus, who is the source of hope. Once you have that hope, you're gonna experience, I guarantee it, joy and peace like no other. You're gonna have this joy that's not temporary, it's eternal, and you're gonna have this peace that passes all understanding, Paul would tell us that. That peace is supernatural, and it only comes from the hope that we have in God. And I pray in this Christmas season, you will be filled with hope from the God that gives us all this hope. He is our true source of joy and peace, and without him, there is no hope. Without him, there, there's nothing. And a relationship without Jesus will only lead to death and separation from him. So I pray, if you don't know Jesus, ask him to come into your heart. Let him be your Lord and Savior, and he's gonna give you the hope that you need, not just for this Christmas season, but for all your life. The hope that we have is such an amazing confidence um, that we can carry with us throughout the, the, the days of our life. And so, in conclusion, again, my prayer, just as Paul's prayer for the church in Rome, is that you would go to the source, who is God, of that hope that we need. And I just wanna wish you a Merry Christmas, and God bless you.